unwavering, no doubt. Mega Man's 1 through 9. Now, 1 through 10 are already better. Who Power you? Fighter's better. Who X Series is who better. Hurt you as a kid. What Yoshi game? Tell me a Yoshi game is better than Mega Man game right now. Yoshi's Really World, Yoshi's no. World, no. Yoshi's Story. No. Yoshi's Story was good. Yoshi's Story was really good. But it's not better than X4 or X5. Uh, well, X5, I can't really go to bad for X5. People speed run Yoshi's, um, Yoshi's World. They don't, um, Yoshi's Story. They don't speed run Mega Man. In any case, here we go. They do speed uh, Blaze run Mega Pasta Man. versus uh, Blaze of Pasta bringing out that link. Hey, I see it, big dog. Here we got Godzilla with the Mars. Yo, this is some high quality know, matchup man. right here. But getting up to game one, we're going to go straight to town and city. Blaze and Pasta, so, you know, sparring his uh, normal nest. Uh, usually he does like to go Peach, but I do know that he likes Ness for certain matchups. And I think here, with Wario with such a really, really good air dodging ability, he wants to match him with his own air dodges. Oh, and there we go! I Double think the, I, I think the good thing about this matchup for Wario is that he's not going to have to deal with many projectiles outside of PK Fire, but even then, it's Telegraph that we hear PK just pop his shield. Mm. Uh, <laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever I'm on the mic, you, go, you put your shield up. Oh. Like, oh my god. Shout out PK Sparks. PK Thunder? Yeah, there we go. Shout out to PK every second. See, and there we go. See, this is what you do when you play Ness. Did you see that, everybody out there? Pasta sat on the ledge with Down Smash. Do you know what Godzilla didn't do? Jump or try to land, or, or jump on stage or try to uh, uh, um, fall off the stage and go back on? He didn't eat that Down Smash like 90% of you out there like to get hit with. Good lord. Oh, from the ledge, yeah. Yes, yo. A lot of people be forgetting you can just roll up from, from that. You can just roll on. You can do. He's charging a smash attack. Yo, the magical percent, 69. I talked to Great Gonzalez about that one day, and he was just like, man, if people are just going to sit there and get hit by the smash attack, I'm going to just keep on you and the yo yo. He's just like, man, I ain't mad at you, Gonzalez. That's the tough thing about um, Groma is that you gotta find the people who will be able to push you to your limits. It's like, cause yeah, that's not the best option, but if the people in your region allow you to do that, then it's like, yeah, why okay. not? But then I feel like, like the way I do it is that if I'm playing against somebody to get better, and they keep getting better, I'll tell them how to beat it. So they will do it, and then I can figure out some other way around it. It helps me improve by giving them an knowledge about, you know, what's bad about my character. Ooh, oh my god! Where did he go? Pasta. Catching that Yo. fart. Yo, he farted right on his head. That was, is he Cartman? That was like Mega Man dying right there. He just... <laughs> over. Gone. That, he was... Okay. Well, he didn't exist anymore. He does not exist in this plane of resistance anymore. Mm. But Blazing Boss is still Realm. with a tremendous amount of uh, damage uh, in the terms of a deficit here that Wario could actually climb with like maybe one good combo with the bike. But Blazing Pasta holding the foothold here in the neutral, forcing Godzilla to try to get in here. And, oh, there we he go. He tried. Yeah, he tried it. I like how Wario just put his hitbox back getting on the bike. Yep. And he did a very good job of just, you know, going far enough out and also didn't let himself get too exposed when he's coming back on with that, uh, you know, his ledge recovery there. Pasta knows exactly, exactly when his back throw is going to KO. Yep. And at this point, I don't even think Rage really needs to be that much of a factor. Pasta with a really good application of that side magnet, by the way. Yeah, neutral, he know, used a second jump to, to get a little bit of height and then just stopped his, stopped his um, horizontal or vertical momentum. And the up air after the whiff attack from the bike is going to be it for um, Blazing Pasta. Very good job there by Blazing Pasta. Just going ahead, catching Wario right when he was vulnerable in the air with that up air and using that priority and that range to his advantage. Yo, shout out to Godzilla as well, getting up here to win the semis. Absolutely. This man, let him know. He's like, yo, y'all going to consider me for PR next season. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, he's definitely on a PR last season. I think he's going to get on this season, and he just seems to be continuing to grow here. Uh, Godzilla just, you know, showing a lot more, um, you know, of a, a command presence here in the higher tiers of the bracket. That was my original uh, team partner. Still my steady teammate. I can dig it. Oh, we got Fair String sending Wario way off to the right side of the stage. Duck Hunt giving this nice little mellow, mellow calm music to just kind of like, vibe out. I there. like the song, but it just doesn't fit Smash, you know? I like it, the medley. I like the, the retro medley that they throw in there. It's alright. If it started off like this and then it like geared up to some hypeness, it'd be like, yeah. Otherwise, like, you, you get put to sleep with this song. I, again, it's not a bad song. I just don't think it quite fits Smash. I can do it. But Godzilla trying to take a bite out of Kaime and getting a whole lot of glitter in his mouth right there. And Who I has think, glitter? Look, yes, he's got glitter everywhere. Watch. Just watch. Bam. All right, wait, wait, wait. wait just wait for it. There's the glitter. There's the more, some more glitter. You cannot whittle, water down his ESP powers glitter. to glitter. I'm uh, that's just fire. I'm actually offended. Glitter. Nair. Glitter. Cuss. 
fireworks or something. Glitter. No, this is, I'm not even putting it on the same level as Jubilee. This Do you ever feel glitter. like a Ness's air? Okay. Oh, it gets Godzilla right now. Just trying to find his way in. And it seems just like Pasa is everywhere that he doesn't want him to be. He really is trying to just stick him with his neutral, which is actually really a shame here in this matchup. On this stage, the sprites are a lot more strict, so he should be able to um, pretty much call out. Oh! Wow! Yay! Speaking of calling out the air dodge right there, Godzilla is. Isn't that more like more likely to hit from an air dodge because of like the two Dness? Right. Duck hunt. That's what I was saying. The Z axis not being present anymore. All the sprites are actually flat characters. Uh, you know, you can try that out for yourself. Just go ahead, and pause the game. On uh, if you ever on Duck Hunt, you'll see that the uh, characters. Yeah, the they're just you know paper cutouts. Which is weird. The fact that they still look 3D right now. Yeah. Uh, paper Wario with that fart. They're just uh, going to go ahead and just claim that stock and hey, play some wow. pasta right now. Just. Doing his best to try to stay alive here in game two. I do feel bad, but at the same time, respect the Ooh. neutral from Gons. Like, he, like, his only chance of survival right now is playing his hard neutral. Right. You know, just like call the police. It's just like this large, hulking Italian man just pretty much throwing these hefty <laughs> haymakers on this little kid. It's just like, what? <laughs> what is wrong with them? They're just fighting out in the middle of the woods. It's just like, it's like Wario is like a pedophile. He just let him out. Okay. Here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let him out into the woods. I, I, I let this man death. talk a little too long. Play, play the pasta. <laughs> now the attack with that damn throw fair strength. I don't know what he was looking for from that, but still just got the end of a, a secondary fair strength. Oh, he, he just punched fire. Yeah, that happened. What kind of fire resistant gloves you got, man? That man just grabbed fire. Up. See, that's what I'm talking about. He's there out in the woods. He got fire resistant gloves, a bike to get back. There's no way for Blazer Pasta to get back if he dies out here in the woods. This, this, that's just gonna end up on somebody's milk cart. All right. This is the weirdest attacks. He's farting on him. This is just strange. This is so, a, wait, this so, a fight. This is this somebody needs that to was call a great read from right Godzilla. Now. Got the road read We're right by him. Got the pivot. Oh, well, hold up. Will we the see a waft? Will the we the see a waft? Waft? Oh my oh. God! He went for the waft and fell on everything. Everything went wrong there. I think he tried to go for the dare everything. to try to get that uh the trade and the dare. I think the dare um didn't you know uh, immediately spike him. You know Wario has that very very light dare spike. Yeah, but I, that just was an opportune moment. Like, because the Waff would have kept him above um, Ness, I would have went for that, even if it wasn't fully charged or anything. It would have just been a hitbox to push him off. Right, but I don't think he went for the Waff. I'm saying he went for the Dare to, to spike him again. Oh, no, I, I get that. I'm oh. saying I was, I was expecting the Waff. Oh, the, expecting the Waff, it, right. it was safer. Because right, oh, absolutely. When the PK Thunder's coming out, that tail can just um, nix any input you have coming out and then your, your body. PK Rocket is such a, a an annoying thing to get hit with because... The entire time, if you get hit by PK Rocket, it's not because you were just sitting there like, well, I'm not going to block today. It's because you're like, well, this is the slowest recovery move ever.